Hey, there's no shame in trying things that people ain't never tried before. Sometimes in life, we make mistakes. Sometimes we do funny voice make intro, and a month later have to come back and cut it out. Forgive me, Johnny. We're often tricked into believing we have no agency, that we are at our creators, be they contexts or literal creators like God's whims. We as products are merely products. We can't think for ourselves, we can only think what we were programmed to think or created to think. Now obviously this is largely true. Not exactly, hold on, your upbringing, Your context, where you went to school, where you lived, your chemistry, all those influence you. They can change you into another person, but that's my point. You are not the person or the characteristics being molded. You, present you, are the result or the essence achieved. You aren't the means of achieving. You are the achieved. This is another situation where we're trained to think, to emphasize one way, when in reality it can be reversed. A wag the dog situation, except this one makes more sense. My example. I want to write a character. What characteristics will I give her? Okay, well she'll be angry, claustrophobic, and unable to make and maintain friends. It's Galica. Great. We built up to her. She's so interesting, she's so wonderful, she usurped the main character as the main character. Now, let's remove those characteristics and give her new ones. She's happy. She got along with her brother. Tight spaces? <laughs> No problems for Galica. Let's even change her hair color and make her a man. Is this character still Galica? Obviously not. In name only. Galica the character is not a product produced. She is a destination reached. You can't build her differently without losing her. If you add characteristics, or subtract them, you lose your way, and the character is lost. Much in the same way, if you followed different directions on a map, you would reach a different location. Galica isn't defined by her traits. Galica defines these collected traits. I am technically creating these characters, but if I write Galica, a way that isn't her, Galica the character, the idea, folds its arms and refuses to play. I bring this up because people love pretending we have no power, we have no free will, and contexts and creators define us. I bring this up because you, the product, the end result, have as much, if not more, control over your creators and contexts than they technically do over you. And you might think I brought that up to empower you, but really, I did it because I still contend we are, or at least I am, I don't know if you guys exist, anime gods creation, or guided development. And despite that, I still feel powerful. Why? Because I am, we are powerful. We have agency. We are powerful and agent, especially considering we are creations. And that's important. Boys, but that about ribbity wraps this one up. I hope you enjoyed watching, because I certainly enjoyed making it. Yeah. Like if you enjoyed, because that helps me out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't, because we do this shit sometimes. And comment your thoughts, because I love hearing from you. How you feeling, boys? What's going on? I don't know. But thanks again for watching, everybody, really. We have a lot of fun on this channel. So much fun, in fact. You could upgrade to a mic arm, maybe. Because they aren't that expensive. And then we can hang 
You, well, you can hang the fun from it. A big old dangling bag of fun right in front of your face all the time. And that's how much fun we have on this channel. And I look forward to doing this with you guys again in the future.